Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another special episode to celebrate one year of activity on YouTube. In this series of episodes, I will share with you my whole collection and we have arrived at the Sheffer collection, small collection. You know the procedure in chronological order from the first one here till the latest uh, fountain pen here. Okay, so without uh, any delay, I will start with the oldest Sheffer from my collection. And um, this is a Sheffer. Let me zoom on it. This is a Sheffer Craig. This is a product of the early 1920s. You probably know that the Sheffer was the first company that implemented the lever fillers. So this is one early lever filler from uh, Sheffer. And Craig was like a sub-brand of uh, the Sheffer company. It was named after the son of the owner of the Sheffer company. On the clip we have a patent and a date. So it is from 1916 or 1919. I'm not so sure, maybe you can help me in the comments. Okay, and let me show you the beautiful, beautiful gold nib of this particular model. You can see imprinted with Sheffers 33, made in USA, 14 carats. And a nice looking ebonite feed. Quite, quite a nice uh, model. And um, I like it a lot. I think I paid around $50 for it. So it is quite a nice buy for my collection. Next, guys, I have a model from 1928. One of my favorite Sheffer models. And another innovation made by Sheffer. It is the first use of celluloid. Look, look at this beauty. And let me zoom on it. You can see some discoloration. Or I don't call it discoloration, but lovely patina. Because, and it's different from the original color of the celluloid of the cap. And this is because in time, it... Um, it uh, touched the hand of the users and um, the sweat uh, made this celluloid in time of course form this patina let me show you Sheffer pen company patented august 25 ford medicine usa december and january october and other uh, dates. This is, uh, by the way, I didn't tell you the model name. This is a white dot. What uh, does this mean? The white dot was a marketing scheme made by Sheffer to warranty the buyers that this uh, was warranted for life. So if you bought this product and you were the original owner, you were entitled to receive a warranty for your lifetime. Of course, uh, this policy is not longer available in our modern economy, but it shows you that in 1928, Sheffer had great confidence in uh, their products to implement this kind of uh, system. So guys, this is um, Sheffer flat cap because it has those flat caps white dot lifetime made in usa in 1928 and one of my favorite my favorite shuffles from my collection now i have an iconic an iconic fountain pen and um, you might recognize it this is the famous famous shuffle lifetime balance jade green it was produced from 1929 till 1941 and it is in this gorgeous, gorgeous jade color. It has this wonderful, quite big uh, Sheffer's nib, Sheffer Lifetime, 
registered U.S. patent of made in USA and those numbers. <laughs> and uh, I talked about those numbers and the importance for um, those numbers in the distribution process of the shuffles around the um, USA. This is again a lever filler. And I want to show you Schaeffer Pen Company for medicine patent pending. So this is because the patent is pending. This is one of the earliest models. And I believe that is from 1929 on 1930s. Let's put this aside. And guys, one of the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I show you a balance marine green from the 1930s. This is a wonderful, wonderful color. Unfortunately, and bear with me, guys, don't try to do your own restoration work because this is what happens. First of all, guys, if you have a celluloid model, a celluloid, and you can recognize it by its beautiful, beautiful colors, don't try to do restoration work yourself. I was trying to to get to the sack of this fountain pen because it needed replacement. And when you see these level fillers, they um, no, almost 75% of them need the sack to be replaced. If you put on this lever here and you see resistance, so it won't let you uh, push it like this. It means that the sack, the inner sack, is um, dried out and it needs to be replaced. So what did I do? I tried to break it without uh, using a hairdryer or some uh, uh, temperature um, procedure. And I, because I'm, I'm um, not a patient person, I broke it one of my greatest mistake. So, guys, from 1930s, it traveled all the way to Eastern Europe in my hands. And after all that time, it was ruined by this idiot right here. So, guys, if you don't know how to do the work, don't practice on these older models because they are rare and... Um, it is a shame to, to, to ruin them. So this is the story of a wonderful, wonderful fountain pen from the 1930s that um, was ruined by me. And this is a lesson for all of you guys that want to collect or restore fountain pens. But it is what it is. It was a good lesson. And now I don't try this restoration works on other more valuable fountain pens. Let's move on to an innovative, innovative system from the 19 uh, 1950s. And this is a Sheffer Touchdown TM Statesman made in USA in 1951. And let me show it to you. It has this wonderful, wonderful two-tone gold nib, which I simply love. It has this grip section with um, this caramel transparent part, which I love. It has those metallic gripping points. But most of all, it has an interesting, interesting filling system. So you simply turn this rod. You push it like this. And it fills by simply pushing like this. You heard that sound it makes. So this was quite, quite a nice uh, filling mechanism. Of course, it was followed by, uh, I don't know if you are familiar with uh, that metallic rod that um, went from the feed to the, directly to the ink uh, bottle, which was the, successor of this uh, model. This was, by the way, produced for only one or two years by Schaeffer. I don't know why. 
but it appears that it was so complicated that there were not enough repairmen to service this uh, complicated, complicated system. Because believe it or not, it has also an interior sack of ink, so that sack needs to be replaced. Moving along, we are in the 1970s, and this is an original uh, package, which I'm uh, quite proud of, and uh, Sheffer is proud of its work, Sheffer the Proud Craftsman. Again, they, um, they uh, have the white dot, which was present from 1928. This is uh, the model. It's a uh, Lady Sheffer 620XJ pen with a medium nib. And this is the Lady Sheffer fountain pen. It initially came to me with uh, this original system of filling. And you can see the sack is calcinated. So when you see a lever filler, the those early models from the 1920s, look at this sack here. This is the same effect. So it is uh, simply uh, ruined. Those sacks, they hold from uh, approximately 10 years. And because of the effect of the acidity of the ink and other chemical process, they don't last for a long time. So for the Lady Sheffer, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Lady Sheffer, with uh, this uh, pattern here at the ring, again, this is a white dot, uh, with a beautiful, beautiful 14 carat gold nib, I adapted a cartridge, and I was surprised to see that this cartridge was um, uh, an international size cartridge. So quite, quite a nice product from the 1970s. And I will leave this aside and we will move on to the other products. And I have here in this beautiful, beautiful box, a fountain pen. Of course, it's not the original box. Maybe you can tell me what this uh, box originally contained because uh, I don't see a place for a writing instrument here. Maybe you know, guys. Let me put this here. So, I have here another model, and I presume it's from the 1970s. Because of a short clip, I think it was also a ladies' model. But unfortunately, this pen was uh, cannibalized for its gold uh, nib. And I'm so sorry to see that happen, but uh, it is what it is. And this has this interesting system. I think it was also a cartridge. I'm not so sure. In comparison with the other models, you can see this is like a um, aroma aromatic filler from the 19... Um, this is like the filling system of the Parker 51, but this seems like an, uh, a cartridge which is surrounded by a metallic uh, uh, part. I'm not so sure about this model. I don't have many informations about it. So finally, we come to the end of uh, this video and I have here a homage fountain pen um, you can see she, here Sheffer USA, but um, it is a homage fountain pen that uh, brings homage to this model, the flat top model, and to the early Craig model. And for this reason, this is called the No Nonsense Old Timer, Old Timer, Le Black from the 1990s. A beautiful, beautiful, classic looking fountain pen. If you saw it on like this on a, uh, on a desk, you might think to yourself, this is a nice product of the 1920s or of the 1930s. But no, this is a modern looking fountain pen with a nice, gorgeous, gorgeous nib. Let me show you. A beautiful, beautiful nib. 
Of course, this is just gold plated, it's not a gold nib, but it's quite, quite a nice, nice looking nib. Let me see if this comes with the converter, but I'm not so sure. No. And it has uh, this quite, quite large uh, rod when you push the cartridge or the converter. It's uh, definitely a long barrel and it can, it can accommodate an um, ink converter. So I believe this model can use ink cartridges, but also ink converters. So guys, this was my uh, shuffle part of my collection. I'm quite, quite uh, proud of these shuffles. And um, I think that they are an, a nice, nice addition to the collection. My favorite model is this model. I love, love, love it. And uh, by the way, guys, this is quite an affordable model. I think you could buy it for under $100. So pff, this is a beauty. This, this is a beauty. And uh, if you can, uh, if you can just buy one and you want to regret it. Of course, if you can buy one that is already restored with the ink sack freshly replaced. Thank you guys for your time. Wherever you are, I wish you to have a nice day. If you want to see more beautiful, beautiful fountain pens, just subscribe to my channel. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye bye.